Hello, apa kabar? That's how are you in Bahasa Indonesia. I'm Mira from Flow with Mira YouTube channel. I'm going to take you through a Basi Flow Mat class using this excellent apparatus called the Magic Circle Ordering. The class will be a combination of my own creativity as well as repertoire taught in Basi Pilates teacher training syllabus created by Ryle Asakowit. So grab your ring or your circle and let's start the class standing. We are going to place the ring in between your ankles. So I want you to place the ring where it feels comfortable. And I want you to really try to squish that ring for me until you find your parallel position. All right, now standing nice and tall. Once you find that position, I want you to feel the tension of the ring, how it can spring out and use that inner thigh strength to draw in and feel that energy drawing up to your pelvis. So let's lift 10 of your toes off the floor. That's it. Now I want you to feel how that arch is lifting up through your legs and then spread that toes down to the floor and keep that arch lifting up and continue drawing that energy up to your legs and to that pelvis and feel that strength right here. And I want you to soften the knee just a little bit here, right? And I'm gonna turn myself to the side here. Now, dangle the arms down by the side, take an in breath. Now I want you to just go ahead and do some roll dance. So, Curling the head down, drawing that center deep, and I want to just allow the spine to articulate down to the floor and then the pelvis as well. And take your body as close as you can to the floor. In breath. Exhale, rolling up again, and keep working against the spring of that magic circle around your ankle and lift up to a nice, beautiful standing position. In breath. Exhale, let's roll it down. Head down, neck down, upper back down, middle back down, and take your body all the way down to the floor. We inhale at the bottom. Exhale, let's roll the spine up and all the way up to that standing position and tall. Okay, now let's move on. Keep that ring in between the ankles. All right, now here, let's do some footwork. So we're going to inhale, we bend the knees, take the arms forward. I want you to hold that strength in the abdominal. Exhale, inhale, forward, exhale. And I don't know whether you can see, but I do have an assistant that was there that her name is Boki, it's my assistant for the day, and she is right there. So I'm not sure if you can see her. So Boki, let's go back to your bed. In breath. No, she's just gonna watch me in front. And we got inhale forward, and an exhale lift, and an inhale forward, and exhale lift. And again, so work against that ring with the circle. And last one, we stay here. Now I want you to just cross your arm here, hands on the shoulder. We can also have your hands on the elbow here. Now I want you to lift the heels up. And down. I'm just going to turn myself to the side so you can see what's happening here. And we're going to lift up and down. So working on that stability around your ankles and also from your center. And lift and we go down. And lift, feeling that heat coming up through your legs. And lift and down. And let's do two more. Lift and down. Last one, lift and down, extending the legs, let go of the arms, and you can release the ring for a second, and I want you to bring it back again here. Okay, now rise or lift your arms up to the sky here. All right, now feel that connection from your feet, rising all the way to the pelvis and up through the spine and up through your arms to your fingertips. And lateral stretch over to your right as we in breath. Exhale, coming back over to the other side as we in breath. Exhale, and let's take a moment here. I'd like you to ask yourself, 
What is one thing of Ryle's teaching that has a great impact in your life as a student, as a teacher, or even as a person? And while well, we get stretching away here, so mine is the word intention. Good intention in my work, what I do, whoops, lost myself, what I say and what I think. So what is your intention for this class? Let's do one more. And each side, last one. So ask yourself, what's your intention today? And let it go. Okay, right, let's take your arms out, let's continue. All right, think of one thing of Ryle's teaching has a great impact in your life and write in a comment below and share with us. All right, let's go. Transfer your weight to your right. You're gonna find that balance here. All right, strong in the center and let's work these adductors. We exhale, in breath. Exhale, in breath. So, finding that strength through that supporting leg. Exhale, and three more. What's your intention today for this class? Be it just to hang out with me, which is excellent, or you wanna work on your balance, which is great too. And, and let's go to over to the other side. And we go, we exhale, press in. Maybe you want to learn more of the repertoire in the, with the magic circle. Whatever that is today, it's valid. And thank you for being here with me. And do again. We exhale. Oh, my assistant is not staying still. Exhale. And again. And three more. And now. Two more. Last one. And out and release and let's just drop the ring here oh sorry bulky why don't you go ahead and sit down there come on come on so mommy can teach let's go come on good girl okay so let's bring the ring good girl thank you good girl okay so let's bring the ring on the outer side of your thigh just above the knee joint here so your feet are slightly wider stance here so I want you to imagine you have another ring around the pelvis, so around the hip area here, your greatest trochanter, okay? Now here, as we inhale, I'd like you to think about pressing out the thigh bone, the femur, outward equally with the top ring and the bottom ring. So we're gonna widen out and release. And again, inhale, reach out. Exhale, just recover. Inhale, reach out. And feeling that sort of transfer weight more on the outer side of your feet and center. Again, out and center. Last one, in breath, out. And well done. All right, straighten the legs. Arms up to the T position, transfer your weight over to your right leg again, balance. Now this time, we're gonna press outward. We go, and center, and up. Nice and tall, lift from the center, and up, and back, and up, and back. Three more, two more, Ooh. last one. All right, transfer over to the other side. And here we go. And we lift. And down. And lift. And down. And lift. A lot of work happening in the supporting leg here. And I just want you to think about your intention of staying up and tall. Find your balance. When you set that intention in your head, you will balance. And center. Last one. All right, let it go. Okay, let's take the ring away. And we're going to do some arm exercises with the ring and we're gonna add on some footwork as well. So half the ring in front of you, like so, the bent elbows. We're going to come up into a V position and come up onto a rise tippy toe. All right, nice and tall. We start with the knees bent. 
Now we go. Exhale, straighten the legs and squeeze. In breath. Exhale. Feel how the pressing or the push of the ring really connect you deeper into your center. And in breath. Again. Two more. And up. Last one. Hold that balance. Last. And straighten the legs. And we come down. Open the feet to a wide V position. And take the arms forward. Straight up. Okay. Now we go. We bend the knees. Lifting through that center. And then as we extend, we squeeze the ring and release. And again, squeeze and release. And squeeze. You know, feel the energy rising up from the floor all the way up to the tip of the hip. And again, three more. And two more. And last one. And release, straighten the legs. Now we're gonna take the legs slightly closer. Rise up onto the ball of your feet and take your arms overhead for the overhead arm. Now here we go. We're going to bend the knees first and we'll squeeze the ring, we'll squeeze the circle, straighten. And we bend. Exhale. And we bend. Exhale, and we bend. Exhale, find your balance here. And two more. Last one, good, and release down. Okay, for the arm press on the side, have your legs in parallel position. Let's do your right arm first. Okay, here. You can take your arms to the side here if you like to. We'll keep it long by the side here. Now here, I want you to press the arm in and rise up onto the ball of your fist for your calf raises. So we go, press and release. We press and find your balance. And we press and release. And we press and release. Two more and release. Last one. Okay, now to the shoulder here. Rise up to the ball of the feet. We're going to do our prancing. So we're going to lower one heel down, hold the pelvis together and press the arms at the same time. And then we switch, inhale, inhale, exhale, press, inhale, press, press, exhale, in breath, exhale, Last set in. Hell, exhale. Rise up and release down. Okay, over to the other side. We've got the calf raises and we press, we rise and we lower. And we rise and we lower. Lift from the pelvic floor to get an excellent balance. And again, press. And two more. Last one. Okay, onto the shoulder here. All right, so rising up to the ball of the feet. And we lower one heel down, we press the ring. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. In breath. Last set. Woo. In breath. Rise up tall and let it go. Good job. And shake your legs and let's go down to the floor. So sitting up nice and tall. I want you to spread your toes down to the floor. Feel that lift from the base of your pelvis. We breathe in. Exhale. We're going to round our back and we're going to take the pelvis back. We roll back, get the sacrum low back onto the floor. Then in breath, exhale, let's come up and over forward. 
and then we lift through the spine. We exhale, pull away with the abdominal, and we roll back, sacrum, lower back on the floor, in breath. Exhale, up and over, and then we lift through the spine. Last one, exhale, we round, we roll back, get that sacrum onto the floor, get the lower spine onto the floor, in breath. Exhale, come up and over, and we'll lift up. Now rotate towards me here, keep the pelvis stable, so rotate from the waistline. We exhale, we roll back through the side of the spine, in breath, exhale, come up again, and we'll lift, and exhale, we roll back, in breath, exhale, we come up, up and over, and we'll lift. One more, exhale, C curve, then we roll back. In breath, exhale, come up and over, we lift and return back to the center and rotate to the other side. We exhale, C curve, then we roll back. In breath, exhale, we'll lift. Exhale, round, we roll back, in breath. Exhale, come forward, and we'll lift. And exhale, we roll back, in breath. Exhale, we come forward, and we'll lift back to the center, and we're going to take ourselves down to the ground, into the C curve again, then we roll it down to the floor. Bring the feet closer, one, two, and turn the ring in line with the arm, and take the arms overhead. I'm just gonna shuffle myself forward here. Okay, lift one leg up to the tabletop, second leg up to tabletop, Squeezing the inner thighs nice and tight for the hundredth breath. We exhale, we'll lift. Inhale, up and return. We exhale, we'll lift. Inhale, up and return. Again, exhale, in breath. And exhale, in breath. Now last one, we're going to stay at the top. We exhale, we stay, holding in breath. Leg changes, lower one foot, and we switch, and we switch, and we switch, and switch. So go back again to the intention. What is your intention for this class? And I'd like you to thank yourself for doing a class for yourself. And get out, you're gonna feel great at the end of the class. Last set, last one. Both legs up to tabletop, lower one foot down, second leg down, we're gonna stay up here, can we? Exhale, lift up a notch higher and we stay. We add the rotation to me. In breath, center. Out of sight, in breath, center, and up, and center, and up, and center, and rotate, and rotate. Last on each side, and the last one here, come back to the center. Straighten one leg long, second leg long, take the arms up to the sky and return the arms overhead. It's time for the roll up. So we inhale, we lift the ring, the ring, the circle will be over your thighs. Exhale, we peel the spine up. We take ourselves into that C curve. And inhale, find length through the spine. Exhale, we take our sacrum down to the floor. There, and take the arms overhead. 
Inhale, lifting up and high and tall, arms over the thigh. Exhale, peel off the floor. Think about lengthening up and over your pelvis. So there is an energy lifting away from the sacrum, from the pelvis to the tip of the head, and an energy of the abdominal pulling back into the spine. Then we go sacrum down. So that's my intention for this class, for this class, for this exercise. How much can I create length through my spine at the same time, allowing my abdominal muscle to pull back, pull deeper, take myself into more flexion, yet staying tall and rolling back, 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 and arms overhead, inhale, lifting, exhale, and up and over into that C curve, and we stay, we lift through, my, through the spine, and release the arm. So, Ryle, thank you for sharing and teaching me the word intention. Thank you. So let's move on to a rolling like a ball. So this one is a little tricky. Your ring may fly away, so let it be, and just grab it and bring it back again. So we're gonna take one end of the ring to the back of your thigh, and the other end, just behind the ankle, you're gonna give a nice press to each other and then grab your hand around your ankle, or just above the ankle. All right, we're going to find balance to take your feet off the floor, look down to that pelvis and really guard that ring from flying away. All right, here we go. Inhale, we roll back. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, so if you have been doing rolling like a ball, by flinging your legs away to help yourself out. This is an excellent way to learn to hold your feet down. And otherwise you're going to find a ring flying all over the room at this moment. Again, inhale, rounding. Exhale, come up and over. And two more, in breath. Exhale, come up and over. Last one, in breath and come up and over, we stay balance, balance, and lower. Perfect timing, the ring just slipped off my thighs. All right, now bring the ring in between your ankle, just above your ankle, really. Point your feet, so, lifting through the spine, breathing in, breathe that, I want you round the back, pull away, pull away, pull away, bring the legs up to the tabletop here, now it's time for the hundreds. We straighten the arms down to the side. We straighten the legs up to the sky or lower the legs down to an appropriate height. I'm gonna lower down here. We in breath and we go. Exhale, we pump and inhale. Now I like you to really breathe, breathe loud. So you can hear the music of your breath. Inhale. Use your breath to energize your body. And look at your belly button. And whenever you breathe, like, can you see your belly drawing in? Inhale, can we lift up a little higher? And, and three more. Breathe loud. And as. Last one. Let's hold, lift up a little higher, stay. Drag the knees in, drag it, drag it, bend the knees, hold. And open your arms to a T position. Then you can lower your chest down. Now hold there for the spine twist to pine. All right, over to me as we inhale. Exhale. Really thinking about moving from the waistline. So your intention is to work the obliques here. Exhale, maybe to not drop that ring or the circle for you. So let that be for you, for your intention today. And in breath, 
Exhale. And in breath. Exhale if you like. You can join me as we rotate, extending the legs long. Exhale, come back. And we bend. Inhale over to the other side. Extend the legs away. Exhale. And we fold the knee. Last set, inhale to me. And we extend. We come back to center. Then we fall. Last one to the other side, inhale. Extend. We bring the legs back to the center and we fold. Now from here, lift your head and chest up, grab the circle with your hands and then lower one foot down, second leg down and lower the chest down. Keep the ring to the sky. Extend the leg closer to me down on the floor and then bring, that's the wrong leg mirror, and then bring the other leg up to tabletop. There we go. Straighten the leg up to the sky. We flex the foot for the, rig, for the leg circle. Across the bodies, inhale, down, exhale. Inhale, exhale, stay parallel, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Last one, exhale and stay. So you have the circle above you. See if you can mimic that circle and draw the circle with your feet over the other side. All right, let's reverse the direction. Out to the side, inhale, draw a circle. Exhale, inhale, exhale. We drop and catch it. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Last set, exhale. We stay whole. Now, bring the circle, hook it on your foot. Grab the circle over the other side. Now here, pull the leg closer towards you for a quick hamstring stretch. In breath, exhale. And now, stretch the leg away. Lift the head and chest up. You can bend the elbows here. A little climb a tree. We're going to curl up. Bring the legs away, curl up, lifting up, lifting up, lifting up, and engage the back extensors. Come up to that beautiful teaser position. We reach the heel away, we lengthen the spine long. We stay here, in breath. Exhale. One more, please, in breath. Exhale. And then we're going to roll back, rounding from the base of the spine. And then the lower spine, middle spine, and then bring the legs vertically up above you and take the circle away, bend the knee, lower down, bring the other foot in. All right, straighten the first leg down on the floor, bring the leg up to the tabletop, and we stretch and we flex. Let's go, make a circle, in breath. Exhale, and we drop and recover, exhale. In breath, exhale, in breath, exhale, last one, or last set, we stay the other way, inhale, exhale, in breath, exhale, in breath, exhale, in breath, exhale, last set, exhale, stay, and we hook the ring onto the foot. We bring the leg closer to your chest. For a quick hamstring stretch, allow the pelvis to be grounded. And my little assistant is asleep at the moment. Too adorable. And here, let's pull the leg away, lifting the chest, rolling up. Lifting through the back, rising tall, in breath, exhale, inhale, exhale, and in breath, exhale, we roll back, we roll back, we roll back, we roll back, bring the leg up to vertical alignment, pull towards it. And then let's take the ring off, 
bring legs up to tabletop, bring the other leg in, and then take both legs up to a tabletop position for the double leg stretch here. So we lift up as we breathe out. So the ring, resting or not resting, the rings are just over your legs. We inhale, stretch the arms and the legs away. Exhale, inhale, reach up. Exhale, inhale, reach. Exhale, and strong in the center. Can you take your arms further back behind your head? And two more. And the last one, we stay. Hold the ring and stay high. One, two, two. Bring the legs through the ring and up. And pull it in and stretch out. And pull in and lengthen out. And pull in and reach out. And an in breath. And an exhale. Two more in breath. And an exhale. Last one, in breath, and an exhale, there, draw the knees in, lift up a little higher, single leg stretch, all right, the leg closer to me, stretch it up, we switch, we've got five, five, and four, four, and three, three, and two, two, and one, one we hold, crisscross over, and we we'll switch, and we we'll switch, and we we'll switch, and we we'll switch, and we we'll switch. Your gaze will be through the ring, through the circle, and again, and switch. One more each side, last one. Back to center, stay up there, open the leg, place the ring in between your ankles, hands behind the thigh, lift up a little higher, and release the chest down, arms long by the side, for the roll over. So, you need to guard the circle, otherwise it might fall on your face, and that will not be fun. So, we go extending, up to the sky, 90 degree, and pressing the arm, roll the spine over. So, dorsiflex, flex the feet, lower the feet down to the floor. Then we roll the spine down, keeping the arms active. Let the pelvis arrive on the floor. We point the feet, we reach the legs away. Then up to the sky and exhale roll over, dorsiflex, we lower from the hip joint, then we roll the spine, your arms are active, settle the pelvis down to the floor, we point, we reach long, again, and up, and roll over, we flex, we lower, we roll back, roll back, roll back. We point, we reach long, last one here to 90. And exhale, press the arm, press the arm, press the arm. We dorsiflex, we lower the feet down. Then we roll the spine back, back. Back, settle the bottom down, point the feet, reach away. Then we flex the knee. Excellent. Grab the ring for me and just bring the ring on the outside of your thigh. So just above the knee and then lower the legs down. Okay. So your feet are as wide of the pelvis, if not slightly wider. So I want you to gently press away with the ring. The arms are long by the side. We're going to do some pelvic curl here. So we breathe in, exhale, deep scoop in abdominal, and then press up, roll up, and press a little higher, 
just to stretch that abdominal and the hip flexors. There's so much flexion happening. The last few exercises it just feels so good to open through the hip. And exhale, we roll it down. And lengthen this pelvis away. Again, we roll up. And take it up. Send the thighs forward over to your feet. Pressing the arms a little bit more to lift the pelvis a notch higher. Really stretch the front of your pelvis here. Then exhale, we roll it down. And release, last one, breathe in. Exhale, reach up, reach long, reach away. And we stay here. I want you to rise up onto the ball of your feet, keep the pelvis high, and then we lower the heel. And then rise up. You're going to feel the hip extensors working so deeply as you're trying to keep the pelvis at the same height or even higher whenever you lift the heels away. Up. And stay high as you lower the heel. And my ankles are shaking. <laughs> and then down, lift high. And my glutes are on fire. And then down, how about yours? And two more. And down with the heel. Last one. And down, down, down. And let's go ahead and roll the spine down to the floor gradually, stretching away. And release the pelvis back. Walk your feet a little bit further away from your pelvis. Take the arms overhead for a roll up. We inhale to lift, exhale, coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up, and lifting top. All right, take the ring off your legs and bring it to your ankle, or just above the ankle, for our open leg rocker. All right, another exciting one here. You really have to guard the ring or it'll fling away. All right, so pick up your legs. Now, you can do this with a bent knee or you can join me with a straight leg, so modify if it's necessary. Extending the legs away, proud chest, lengthening out. And we go, in breath, exhale, we lift, inhale, exhale. The ring will give you that extra challenge and as you balance, in your open leg rocker position, lift and in breath and exhale, lift. Let's go three more, in breath, exhale, Whoa. lifting and two more, exhale, lifting and last one and exhale, lifting, lifting, reaching tall and we bend the knee, we lower. Beautiful work. All right, extend the legs in front of you. All right, bring the ring in front of your rib cage, and I want you to just hug the ring, like so, dorsiflex the feet for your spine twist, sitting nice and tall, bend the knees if flexibility it's not with you today. Just adjust what your legs need to, be, to do. But I want you to keep sitting nice and tall here. All right, so let's go towards me, double breath. In breath, exhale, in breath, exhale, in breath, exhale. Nice and tall, exhale, exhale, exhale. And shh, 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 shh. One more set. Shh, shh. Last one. Shh, shh. We stay tall, we grow tall, we live tallest. And let it go. Okay, turn towards me. We've got side kick here. I want you to place the ring underneath the armpit girdle. I want you to rest that girdle, the armpit over the ring and go onto your forearm. Both legs are straight here. And just 
need to find a comfortable position here. Okay, now work with the ring. The ring gives you that excellent feedback for you to elevate off the floor and recruit the muscles on the underneath side. So work with it, all right? I don't want you to push the ring even further with the gravity, but pull away, allow the ring to make you feel bigger. All right, more open, taller, longer, whatever that word that is for you, that works for you today. Top hand here or in front of you. We take the top leg away, we dorsiflex and let's go forward. Inhale, exhale, inhale, nice and tall. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Three more. Two more. Last one. We hold back there. Reach the top arm away in a diagonal position. I want you to really try to lift off the ring, lift off the circle, reach forward and backward with the arms. And we stay here for three, two, one. And we bring the legs together. We bring the arms to the side and we come up to a mermaid position here and we will do mermaid. Perching on that sitting bones, nice and tall. The ring will go underneath the inside arm. Other arm goes out to the side. We got this beautiful alignment, stretching out away from each other. Okay, we press. Rotate. Open. Release the ring. We press the circle. And open. And lift. We grow taller as we press the circle down. We keep that length and allow that length to go even more as we rotate. And, and release. Last one. We press and grow. We rotate and lift. We open the arm and release. Now, next one, we press. We rotate. Place that hand on top of the other hand. I want you to find more rotation. See if you can be in line, in line with the ring, maybe. So grow tall and then we press down. We press and we press. We press and three more. Two, one. Last, stay pressed down or stay pressing. Open the front arm. We lift the arm. Take the arms up to the sky. Reach out and a quick side stretch over the opposite direction. Reaching out long, lengthening out long. And we come back. All right, let it go. Let's go over to the other side. We start with our side kick of your ring. Circle, I keep saying ring, I guess you can say both ways. Circle or ring, press it down. Work against the spring of the circle. Allow it to assist you to lift. Hand behind the head or in front of you. Take the top leg up, dorsiflex, and we go. In breath, exhale. In breath, exhale, in breath, exhale, in breath, exhale, inhale. Two more set, inhale. Last one, inhale, stay back. Top arm comes forward, reach diagonally away, lift off from the floor, pull back, reach forward for five. And breathing. Two more. And one. And we come back. We help ourselves up onto the mermaid. Reaching or sitting tall. Arm out. And let's go. We press. 
we rotate and find that twist and out and release we press and inhale rotate exhale and release we press inhale exhale use your breath to move explore and see where it takes you and vocalize your breath and the next one we stay we rotate we place the hands on top of the other and then we press and press and press continue pressing and press just gonna move my mic there we go and press and two more last one we press we hold we open the arms back to the center and release take the circle overhead reach long and side bend over the opposite side inhale find length Exhale, find a deeper stretch. Excellent. And come back up. All right, and release. Okay, moving on to our front. We've got a swan, a swan series. So I translated from the chair exercise. Swan on the floor, swan on the mat. Half the ring in front of you. Hands side by side. Just adjust yourself so you feel comfortable with the arms, with the shoulder flexion here. Have your head in between your arms here. Now, sending the pelvis down. Sending the pelvis to your feet, actually, not down. So lengthen your sitting bone down towards your feet here. And drawing that pubic bone upward towards your heart to draw up that lower abdominal here and allow the shoulder blade to glide to the mid back and then press the outer armpit layer down to the floor as you start lifting the back and pressing the circle down to come up to your beautiful swan and we return back down again your legs muscles are working here we inhale as we glide the shoulder blades down and we allow our spine to grow forward and up and press the ring away and return back down again we in breath we reverse articulate ourselves up to a beautiful extension in the thoracic and exhale and come back down again in breath two more we lift keeping the neck long exhale we come down last one here and inhale reaching forward and up vertebra by vertebra and exhale we come down and now bring the ring align with the arm for our swan number one now float the arms off we inhale lift exhale we come down and again, glide the shoulder blade. So use that muscle memory that we just did before. Use that thoracic, your back, upper back muscle to lift up. Exhale. And inhale, lift up. Exhale. There's a lot of work in the upper back, but we need the upper back muscle here to ooh, pretty much work. I ran out of words. Yeah. They just have to work. One more. Inhale. I was trying to be fancy, but literally they just have to work. And exhale. Okay. Right. Swan number two. 
turn the ring in front of you like a steering wheel. Okay, so let's go ahead, power through the legs, and we in breath. Woo it. Exhale, come down. Gliding the shoulder blades down, and we lift. Exhale, and in breath. Exhale, two more, inhale. Last one. And come back down. Well done. And then you can just let go of the ring on the floor. Bend the elbows, push the floor away around the spine. And bring the pelvis to the heels for a quick rest position. In breath. And exhale as we roll the spine. Okay, the grand finale, we have the boomerang. So this is my creativity, okay? So perhaps watch me for one set. It's a little tricky. It's a bit of a tangling arm happening here, but watch me and then come and join me. All right, so I have my right leg on top of my left. I have my ring in the same line as my arm. I start in my curve. Then I roll back. As I roll back, I get to a boomerang position with my arms over my thigh. And then as I take my legs up, my arm come along with me and then overhead and roll over my legs, over my head. I switch my leg and I roll down through my spine and I lift the head and the chest up and I get myself to my beautiful teaser. And I look at my left leg, it's on top of my right. I'm gonna take the ring on my left arm, bring it behind me. This is where it gets tricky. And I lower my legs and I take my body over and I bring the ring or the circle over my legs again. Okay, so I'm gonna do one more time. I roll back to my boomerang shape. I legs, my legs go up, ring goes up overhead and roll over. I switch my legs. I roll down through my spine. I lift my head, my arms, my chest. I take myself to a teaser. Right leg on top of my left. Circle over to my right side, arm behind me, legs are down, over, go to the other arm, and I'm there. Got that? If you are lost, just keep turning your hand to one direction that you feel comfortable. All right, let's go have some fun here. So I have my right leg on top of my left, and they are vibrating and shaking, so. Let's settle down. All right, here we go. And we roll back to the boomerang. And arm leg goes over, legs over. I switch my legs. I roll down through my spine. I take my arms and my chest up. I lift through the beautiful teaser. Left arm behind, ring behind, legs over and circle over with my right arm and over my legs. And I roll down to the boomerang. And legs up, arms over, roll over. I switch my legs, I roll down. And I come up through my teaser. I got my right leg onto my left, circle to my right arm, bring it behind me. And I lower my legs and transfer over to the other arm, bring the ring over my legs. Again, we roll down. Let's just move through it. And over, switch our legs, roll down. And lift through my teaser and arms behind you. And lower and arms over the legs. Again, roll down, arms, legs over. Switch the legs, roll down. Coming up to the teaser. 
ring behind you. Lower the legs, ring in front of you. Again, one more set, roll down and roll over. Switch the legs, roll down, lifting. Come up and ring behind you. Lower the legs, ring above the legs. And last one here, roll down and overhead. Switch the legs, roll down and lifting up. Beautiful teaser, arm behind. It's a tricky part, down with the legs, over and lifting through the spine. Got it? Okay, let's pull the ring away to the side and release the leg. Bring them next to each other. Inhale. Exhale. And just bring and fold our body over our legs. Allow the breath, your breath to take you a little closer towards your legs. Just stay here for in breath. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. Last one. Exhale. And I want to roll the spine up, sitting nice and tall. And come and face me. Diamond legs position. We are just going to move. So I just want you to feel that beautiful limber spine that you have now at the end of the class. And let's just move. Wave the spine around. We're just going to use a breath. And move it. Go wild. And it's only you and me. So, and ah, move the spine. Let it rock. Let it wave. And we're going to go forward. And we're going to go to the side. We're going to roll it back. And you know I like this because you just allow your body to move. And then just sort of experience the mobility and the flexibility of your spine at the end of a class. Isn't that beautiful? And the other way, and around. And gotta let loose sometimes. And two more. Breath and move and dance around like no one is looking around you. And and last one and bring it to stillness. Nice and tall. We inhale, take your arms up. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Exhale. And then we take our spine down as we roll. Down and we breathe out, breathe out, breathe out. We in breath. And go ahead and roll up, roll up, roll up, roll up. Thank you. And thank you, Boki. And really, really thank you for staying and doing the whole class with me. Now go away and share that beautiful energy that you have at the end of the class. Expand it outwards to your surrounding and shine and share your good intention with everyone around you and even with yourself. So I wish you a lovely day. Take care. Well done on completing this class, your star. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to love, look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my free 6-day intermediate challenge. Click the first link in the comments and join us in getting fit, strong and feel energized with a calendar of new intermediate Pilates videos. This 6-day challenge is taken from my 28 days intermediate Pilates program. If you would like to join the full 28 days, you'll find a link to my Flow with Mirror online membership in the description. See you in the next class.